The runout control capability of Bloom's laser is found in Laser Program P9603, the same program that is used to measure a tool's length and radius. Please see the length and radius tutorial prior to runout control for a full understanding of Laser Program P9603. The last tool measured in that tutorial was a 10 mm diameter end mill located in tool pod number 3. You can see our H, D, B, Z, and X variables have already been modified to match the 10 mm diameter tool. To add a runout check to the length and radius measurement, we must modify the C and possibly Q variables, where C defines the number of flutes the tool has, and Q defines the allowable runout tolerance. The end mill in our example has four flutes, therefore C equals four. We will leave Q set to its default value. Now let's run the cycle. You'll see that the cycle first starts by measuring the length and radius of the tool. Once the length and radius have been measured, the laser will move into the center of the tool by a distance of Q. Here, you'll see the cycle adjust the spindle speed to a proper RPM that will send each cutting edge into the beam at a given time. In other words, each flute pulses the beam. If each cutting edge passes through the beam at exactly the right time, the system knows that the tool is within its runout tolerance and passes the runout check. A tool that exceeds its runout tolerance will cause an alarm.